In this movie I want to show how I would bring in a SketchUp file. There's a little twist to this movie because you notice that I'm not leaving the fact that I'm creating, I'm in the process of creating a mass element. And the, and the reason I'm doing the, the inserting of the SketchUp file while I'm in the process of creating a mass element is that if I put that, if you th think of it as like a wrapper that goes around the SketchUp file, this in effect lets Vasari think of it as a mass element and therefore lets you use tools like the solar radiation tool. Whereas if I just went and brought in the SketchUp file outside of the the mass element wrapper, I wouldn't be able to to uh, to do the solar radiation study. So now that I've got the I'm in the process of creating the mass element, I can go. Now I want to import the CAD forum. It's a SketchUp file. Let me pick maybe this group one. I want to show you some other things. Um, I can specify the colors here as before. I can specify the visibility, um, the what layers are visible, or and, and it's doing the auto detection to scale it from whatever size the model was created. Uh, the, you don't know the size of these uh, files, and you don't know what complexity of surfaces there are on the model. And there is a there is a physical limit. So in practice, you might find that you have to divide up a SketchUp file, make it a bit smaller and bring in, maybe divide it in two and bring in two separate SketchUp files. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to try and click on the OK. It just gives me a warning message it's telling me that there are some ASUS objects in there that uh, wouldn't have been imported. So there's my, there's my actual SketchUp file. I've got the surfaces and I've got the rest of it. And the reason I did it that way was just to finish this. That warning message is only telling me that it contains surfaces. There are no, uh, there's no ability to put mass floors or measure volume on this object because it's not a BIM object. It's it's just a collection of surfaces. However, now that I've got it in my project, if I were to do something like just let me just make sure that I'm uh, logged into the Vasari services here. I just want to give it a, a context as to where it is. So I'm logging in. <coughs> and uh, so I probably didn't need to do that. The, the point that, I, that would, would be that up here I can pick a location for my study. So it, by default it was Boston and I could have shown this just with Boston but I, I happen to know that this is in San Luis Obispo. So if I did a search for that you see that I can see it on my Google map and uh, that represents my site. That represents the closest and selected weather map with, with data. I'm just going to accept those as they are. But what I wanted to show you was because I brought it in within a, the wrapper of the mass element, I can go to solar radiation. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is pick maybe a multi-day study, one-year study, um, from sunrise to sunset, one hourly increments. And what I want to do is picking uh, the masses that I want to analyze, I'm going to limit it to maybe just this area of my, my site because there, like I say, there is also a physical uh, limit on this. And when I've, I've finished selecting, I can click on finish selecting and it's starting to create my analysis. There it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Like I say, these, these uh, SketchUp files can be very large, and so I usually prefer to start not in SketchUp, but in Vasari. Yeah.